everyone, this is Nana Dozier from South Lake Tahoe, California. Today I'm going to give you some tips on how to sell your house fast and for more money in this market. Curb appeal is very important because it's the first thing that they see and first impressions do count. So if your house doesn't look attractive, people are just going to drive by and they're not going to bother looking inside even if it looks really great. So that's the impression that they get if you don't take care of the outside, that you don't take care of the inside. So if it's winter, you should shovel the driveway, keep it plowed, keep it accessible, clean and neat. If it's summer, I think it's very wise to spend some money in landscaping, plant some flowers, put on some new grass, uh, paint the fence, paint the door, change the doorknob, make it really appealing so people look in the outside and say, wow, I really want to see this house inside. Declutter. If you're trying to sell your house, make sure you don't have a lot of stuff in there. Less is more. So if you have a room with a lot of furniture, make sure you remove some of that furniture to make it look that like it has more space. And also remove all your personal objects like your pictures and your decoration. Like if your decoration is like a football team or if it is religious or political. Because when the buyer is getting the house, you want them to feel like they're at home. And if you, if you have a lot of personal objects in there, they're going to feel like they're in somebody else's home. And that's not what you want. So you want your picture, you want your house to look like a picture in a magazine. So if you look at a um, staging magazine, if you look at a bedroom, you, you're going to see they only have a bed and two nightstands. They keep it very, very simple. And that's what you want. Very simple and neat. And you're going to make the room look a lot bigger and a lot nicer. Minor repairs. This is very important. You, if you're trying to sell your house, you don't want to leave any work to do. If there, there uh, a wall to be painted, things to be fixed, things to be replaced, you have to do it because you want the buyers to walk in and don't see any work to do. If they see a lot of work to do, they're not going to like it, they're not going to be happy. So unless you're trying to sell your house as a fixer-upper, you should not leave any work behind because you want them to, to get in and feel like, oh, this is amazing, there's nothing to be done, and that's what they like. If they feel like there's a lot of work to do, they're trying to deduct from their offer and they're going to give you a lowball offer and you're not going to like it and you're not going to be happy and you're not going to get as much money as you could for your house. So fix everything is, uh, is fast, is not that expensive and the return is very big. The last thing I want to talk about is price. Uh, how do you know if your house is overpriced? If your house has been sitting on the market for over a month or so and you haven't had any offers, that means your house is overpriced. Then you should talk to a realtor and ask for comparables in your neighborhood so you know how much the houses in your area have been sold for and you're going to have a better idea of what your price range should be. Sitting in the market for too long is not good. You're probably going to end up selling your house for less than it's worth or not selling your house at all. So keep in mind that this market is flooded with houses so you have to be competitive. You have to press it right if you want to sell. The houses that are priced right from the beginning, they end up selling a lot faster and for more money. So you should really think about that. If you know your home is overpriced, you should really consider reducing it. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at nanda at retaho.com. I would really like your feedback and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.